XXL Oglo fam, Vince here. In today's video, ang gagamitin lang natin ay Everbelena products. So today, ire-review natin kung maganda ba talaga yung products ng Everbelena and mag-work ba siya. So if you're buying any of the products used in this video, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at XXO Vince. Ano pang hinihintay niyo mag-subscribe na kayo sa YouTube channel ko, XXO Vince? You can follow me on my social media accounts. Everything will be up here and linked down below. Don't forget to click the bell notification icon so that you will be updated every time I upload a brand new video. Kumuha na rin ang drink nyo, sit back and relax. So without further ado, let's glow. As you can see, sobrang bare ng face ko ngayon. And for today's video, babaguhin lang natin yung routine natin. Magsisimula tayo sa eyes, then gagawin natin yung base after. Para ka magkakaroon man ng mga fallout, madali natin siyang matatanggal. So I'll zoom you in in a bit. Tapos, we'll start doing the eyeshadow. Now that you're all zoomed in, since ang plano ko today for the eyes is winged eyeliner na medyo smoky eye, maglalagay tayo ng tape dito. Now we're gonna prime the lids. First, I'm gonna use the EB Advance BB Cream Whitening in the shade Oriental. Hindi ko may tatanggay na ito ay sa mga super favorite ko na BB Cream. So this contains 50 ml worth of products. This is halal and this is good for 24 months from the open date. So now with a flat brush, kukuha lang tayo ng product and ilagay natin sa lid. For eyeshadow ngayon, gagamit tayo ng dalawang palettes, yung brown and yung pink eyeshadow palette from Everbelena. Now, it says here this contains 6.8 grams worth of products. It's paraben-free and it's good for 24 months from the open date. As you can see, each palette has six shades on it. Itong brown eyeshadow palette, more on mga matte shade siya. Itong pink eyeshadow palette naman, more on mga shimmer shade siya. So, yung combination ng dalawa, sobrang ganda and napakadaming looks na pwede niyang gawin dito. Pag binuksan niyo yung palette, meron siya kasamang ganito. Hindi ko alam kung anong tawag dito. Pero alam ko para yan sa eyeshadow Pero ito, hindi ko siya ginagamit So first, para sa transition shade natin Pukulan tayo ng blending brush We'll dip into the pink shade dito sa palette na to Tap off the excess Medyo powdery yung palette And ilagay lang natin siya just right below our brow bone Stamp lang muna natin yung color I-extend natin dito sa may bandang wing Para ma-create natin yung shape na gusto natin Mamaya na tayo mag-blend I-stamp lang natin now, using whatever's left dun sa brush natin, scratch lang natin yung dulo niya para walang harsh lines. Next up, we're going in with a lighter shade ng gray. Ilagay lang natin siya just right below the pink shade. I-brush lang natin siya lightly. Next up, let's dip into the darkest shade ng gray dito sa palette na to. Now, i-concentrate natin tong color na to dun mismo sa crease natin para mas mukhang deep. Ngayon, since nalapat na natin yung pigment with whatever's left dun sa brush nyo, scratch nyo lang yung edges to smoke it out. Now, to further deepen yung outer side ng crease natin, we're going in with a black shade dito sa palette na to. Itong black shade na to, hindi siya pure na black. Kung makikita nyo, meron siyang konting gold reflex. And ilalagay natin to dun sa outer side ng crease. I-extend na rin natin siya dun sa wing ng konting-konti tapos isi-smoke out natin yan mamaya. Now using another blending brush, smoke out lang natin yung nilagay nating black. And now it's time to cut the crease. For the crease, dipping into the pink eyeshadow palette, kukunin natin tong pink shimmer shade na to. First, ilalagay ko muna sa dun sa outline ng crease natin para maayos yung linya. Next, using my fingers, kukunin natin tong shade na to. Tapos, stamp natin directly sa crease. Tapos, dun sa pink eyeshadow palette, kunin natin tong darkest shade ng brown. I-focus lang natin dun sa line between ng shimmer shade at ng black. Then, using the Everbelena All Day Eyeliner Pen, maglalagay lang tayo ng liner. Hindi ako masyadong fan ng mga felt tip liner kasi for me, mas madaling gamitin yung mga gel liner. 
And dyan muna tayo titigil for the eyes. I'm just gonna do the other eye off camera. And after that, gagawin na natin yung base. Now that both eyes are all done, we're moving on to the base. So for primer, I'm using my so ever favorite Caroline Blur Stick. Sobrang gustong gusto ko talaga tong product na to. This contains 5 grams worth of products and it's good for 24 months from the open date. I'm using the brand Caroline since under naman siya ng Everbelena and wala pong primer yung Everbelena. So, Everbelena, hello! Ano pang hinihintay nyo? Ilagay lang natin yung primer dun sa areas na medyo prominent yung pores which means yung buong mukha natin. <laughs> For foundation today, I'm using the Everbelena All Day Liquid Foundation in the shade Oriental. Now this one is cruelty free, paraben free, and it's good for 24 months from the open date and this contains 35 grams worth of products. First time kung gagamitin tong foundation na to, so tingnan natin kung ano yung kakalabasan niya. So maglagay lang tayo ng konting konti dun sa glass palette natin. Huwag tayo masyadong excited. Punin lang natin using a damp sponge and ilagay natin sa mukha. Maganda yung coverage tong foundation. Full coverage. So, ingat sa paggamit ng foundation na to, a little goes a long way. So, wag masyadong madaming maglalagay. Kasi pag dinamihan nyo, magmumukha kayong manikin. Pero I think yung shade is a little bit light for me. I hope na meron silang darker shade dito. Pero dahil dun sa formula niya, it's not that bad. Kasi sobrang mura lang nito. I think this is only for 195 to 200 pesos. I think kailangan ko pa ng more pump since napakalapad ng mukha ko. <laughs> Now that everything is blended out, next up is yung concealer. So for that, I'm using the Everbelena Concealer Stick. Now this has 5 grams worth of product. This is paraben free and it's good for 24 months from the open date. As you can see, medyo juts yung concealer na to. Pero sabi nga nila, wala yan sa size, nasa performance. So tingnan natin kung magpo-perform talaga tong juts na concealer na to. So ilagay lang natin yung concealer sa high points ng mukha natin. So tingnan natin kung mababrighten talaga niya yung face and makoconceal niya yung mga dark circles ko. Using the same sponge, blend lang natin siya. Medyo mabilis siyang mag-dry. I think dapat nilagay natin siya by portion. So ilalagay nyo siya, blend, tapos lagay, blend. Hindi yung lahatan. Kasi medyo mabilis siyang mag-dry. So medyo kinakabahan na ako dun sa under eyes. Baka mamaya magmukhang tuldok-tuldok yung under eyes ko. Ang hirap niya i-blend. Later. So ayan, finally, na-blend na natin yung concealer. Grabe, struggle ako mag-blend doon. Dapat, dapat pag nilagay nyo siya portion by portion, dito muna blend nyo, dito muna blend nyo. Huwag nyo siyang isasabay-sabay kasi natutuyo siya ng malupet. Pero brightening effect, check. Ayan, kitang-kita nyo naman na na-brighten talaga niya yung mga high points ng face ko. Yung coverage ng concealer is medyo sheer. Parang nasalo lang siya nung foundation ko kasi yung foundation na ginamit ko is full coverage. Kaya mukha siyang maayos. Pero kung sheer coverage yung foundation ko tapos ginamit ko tong concealer na to magpipeak through talaga yung mga dark circles ko tsaka yung mga iba kong blemishes sa mukha coverage, hindi ako masyadong impressed dun, pero dun sa brightening effect nya, okay na din blending, it's not easy to blend sobrang hirap talaga at ang tagal kong binlend to anyways, mag move on na tayo to set the face, I'm using the EB Matte 2 Way Cake, so this contains 9 grams worth of products and it's good for 36 months from the open date so first, gagamit muna tayo ng med sa maliit na brush para maabot natin yung mga crevices. So ngayon pa lang, nakikita ko na agad na nag-set yung concealer dun sa fine lines ko. Malayo, ano ganito, nakikita ko na yung fine lines ko dun sa ilalim ng mata. No questions asked na para dito sa powder na to. Para siyang may VIP pass. Kasi nag a siya ng coverage na mamatify niya yung look. Tapos, using my powder brush, kuha lang tayo ng product. Hindi naman sponsored tong video na to, kaya pwede tayong gumamit ng ibang brush. <laughs> now that the face is all set, maglalagay na tayo ng kulay sa face. So for that, we're using the EB Advanced Face Trio and the shade Fig Trio. Now, ganito yung matura niya. Meron siyang contour shade, meron siyang blush, at meron siyang highlight. And this contains 10 grams worth of products. It's cruelty-free, paraben-free, and it's good for 24 months from the open date. So using my contour brush, kuha lang tayo ng konti. Medyo powdery yung formula niya. Medyo intense yung dating ng contour sa akin nung nilagay ko sa mukha dahil yun dun sa shade ng foundation natin. Kung mas ka skin tone ko lang yung foundation, hindi magiging ganito ka intense yung contour natin. 
Now let's dive in dun sa blush. Using my Gosh Blusher 009, ko lang tayo ng product. Tap off yung excess. Cute yung blush na to. I think sobrang ganda rin yung gamitin pag yung mga no makeup look. Yung naka sunscreen ka lang na walang gray cast. Tapos lalagay mo tong blush na to and konting konting contour and perfect looking na agad yung skin mo. And before we even forget mag nose line tayo using the same contour shade. Sobrang konti nga lang gagamitin natin kasi medyo intense pag nilapat na siya sa mukha. Mag-hold muna tayo dito sa highlight na to. Ito yung gagawin natin last step ng makeup routine natin. For now, let's do our kilay. So for brows, I'm using the EB Advanced Eyebrow Kit. This contains 5.8 grams worth of products. This is paraben-free, halal, and it's good for 24 months from the open date. Now, ganito yung itsura niya. When you open it, you will have your three powder shades. At meron tayong wax. Now, pag bumili kayo na to, this comes with a small brush and a tweezer. So using the wax, kuha lang tayo ng konte i-apply natin sa brows. Para pag naglagay tayo ng powder, kumapit yung product. Next up, we'll dip into the darkest shade na meron dito sa palette na to, which is yung brown. Bakit nga ba puro brown yung shades nung pangkilay? First, mag-outline tayo. Tapos, i-fill in natin yung brows. Tapos with whatever's left na product, i-focus lang natin dun sa inner part ng brow para medyo gradient yung effect. Kuha lang tayo ng spoolie, i-brush lang natin siya to distribute the product well, and makuha na rin yung desired shape natin sa ating kilay. One brow is on fleek, I'm just gonna do the same thing dun sa kabilang kilay natin. Now that both kilays are on fleek, sobrang nagustuhan ko tong product na to, kaso lang may isang problema. Bakit puro brown yung shades ng pangkilay? Eh mostly ng kilay natin is black. Tinry kong maghanap ng dark, pero wala akong makita. Lahat sila brown. So, ever bilay na ano pang ginagawa nyo. So, I hope gumawa kayo ng medyo smoky or black version nitong EB Advanced Brow Kit kasi sobrang ganda niya. Now, let's finish the rest of the eye. So, using the black shade, lalagyan lang natin yung outer corner ng lower lash line natin. Using the dark gray shade, connect lang natin siya. And going back to our transition shade, kukuha lang tayo ng konti. And this is smoke natin yung lower lash line. For my tight line, I'll be using the EB Advanced Eye Define Waterproof Matic Eyeliner. This contains 0.3 grams worth of products and this is in the shade Smoke. Now, yung maganda dito, meron na siyang pencil, meron kang small sponge pang smoke out, and meron din siyang sharpener. So, mag-tight line lang tayo. Let's just curl the lashes and maglalagay na tayo ng mascara after. For mascara, I'm using the Everbalena Volume Control Waterproof Mascara. Now, buksan natin tong mascara ng to. Wow! Sobrang taba ng applicator niya. Pero tingnan natin kung paano siya magpo-perform. So ngayon, hindi ko alam kung paano ko lalagyan yung bottom lashes ko since sobrang taba nga ng applicator niya. Hindi na ako masyadong nag-focus pa dun sa bottom lashes ko kasi ang hirap ilagay using yung applicator na sobrang taba. Pero, I'll give you my final thoughts mamaya. So, maglalagay lang ako ng lashes. Now that lashes are on, babalik tayo dun sa EB Advance Face Trio and we'll dive into the highlight shade. Now, Glow Fam, hindi ko alam kung ano yung expect ko dito sa highlight shade na to since yung favorite highlighter ko is also from EB Advance. It's the EB Advance Glow Out Highlighter in the shade Strobe. Alam nyo na super favorite ko to, lagi ko tong ginagamit, nasa top ng shelf ko to, holy grail ko to, lahat-lahat na favorite ko talaga siya. So, ngayon lang ako mag-try ng ibang klaseng highlighter, but from the same brand. Using my highlight Highlighter brush, kuha lang tayo ng product, tap off the excess. Now this one hindi siya as powdery as nung blush and nung contour, so hoping for the best. Wow! I think hindi talaga nagkakamali yung Everbelena sa pag-formulate ng mga highlighter shades nila. Sobrang ganda. Lagyan na rin natin yung tip ng nose. Yung bridge. Cupid's bow. And yung chin. 
And since maganda naman siya, ito na rin yung ilagay natin sa inner corner ng ice natin. And dun sa ilalim ng brow bone. Grabe, ang ganda niya. So, okay na yan bago ko pa malagyan ng highlighter yung buong mukha ko. Kasi sobrang gandang-ganda ako sa kanya. Now, for the lips. First off, I'm using the EB Matte Lip Liner. Hindi ko na alam kung ano yung shade na to. So, please, mag-comment kayo down below kung ano ba yung shade na to. I'm just gonna line my lips as usual. Next up, using the EB Matte Liquid Lipstick and the shade Toast of New York. Sobrang favorite ko to. Lagi ko siyang ginagamit. Kung napanood niyo yung mga past videos ko, ito rin yung ginamit ko dun. And para dun sa center, I'm using the EB Advance LTD Liquid Lipstick and the shade Skinny Dip. Now this is the look all done. Nag-break lang ako sa glit and now for my final thoughts. Magsisimula tayo dun sa mga products na hindi ko masyadong nagustuhan. No konting disclaimer lang. Ito yung personal opinion ko about dun sa products. Magiging brutally honest tayo. And we only want the truth and nothing but the truth. No bias tong review na to. And ito yung mga products na hindi ko nagustuhan. First off, yung Everbelena Concealer Stick. Kasi pag inisip mo concealer, dapat makoconceal niya yung mga blemishes mo, yung mga dark spots mo. Maganda siya for spot correcting. And mababrighten up niya yung face mo. Yes, nabrighten up niya yung face ko, yung high points ng face ko. Pero dahil medyo sheer yung coverage ng product, hindi ko masyadong nagustuhan tong product na to. Next up, yung Everbelena All Day Eyeliner Pen. I know maraming taong may gusto na tong product na to kasi napaka-precise nga niya gamitin. Pero it doesn't work for me. Kasi mas comfortable ako gumamit ng mga gel eyeliner or yung mga wax-based na eyeliner. Kasi mas precise kung nagagawa yung mga wing ko. Ang problema dito sa product na to, Pag nakaganto siya, okay siya. Nakakasulat siya. Pero pag matagal ka na nakaganto at yung product niya bumababa at bumababa, ang tendency pag nilagay mo siya dun, nagiging patchy. And yung product na to kasi napakabilis niya mag-dry up. So, kailangan mo siyang i-fill in ng i-fill in pa. Compared to using a gel liner na pag kumuha ka using a brush, nandun lang yung product sa tip ng brush mo at hindi siya gagalaw dun. Hindi siya bababa at pag in-apply mo siya magiging consistent yung color payoff nung nilalagay mong eyeliner. And and dahil doon, mas nagiging precise yung paggawa ko ng wing. Again, this is only my opinion. Hindi siya nag-work for me. Siguro dahil sa technique na ginagawa ko. Pero if it works for you, then that's good. Next, yung Everbelena Volume Control Waterproof Mascara. Okay na sana yung mascara nito. Pero yung applicator niya is napakataba. Na nag-struggle talaga akong ilagay dun sa lower lashes ko. Alam nyo naman na pag naglalagay tayo ng mascara dun sa lower lashes natin, kailangan natin maging extra careful dahil pag dumikit sa skin nyo yung mascara, mahirap siyang ayusin at tanggalin lalo na kung nakalapat na yung base mo so this one does not work for me actually yun lang yung ayo ko so next let's review yung mga products na pasok dun sa glow bucket natin first is yung Caroline Blur Stick now yung Caroline is under nung umbrella ng Everbelena super duper favorite ko talaga to kasi nakaka blur talaga siya ng pores yun lang naman yung importante dun napakarami ring laman ng product na to so I'm sure na matagal nyo siyang magagamit next up yung Everbelena All Day liquid foundation. Dun sa price range pa lang niya, from 195 to 200 pesos, I think panalong-panalo na yung product na to. Second is yung coverage talaga nitong product na to. It's full coverage. So, konting-konti lang yung kailangan nyo and makakover na niya yung buong face nyo. This product works for me. I think okay na okay siya. Yun lang, may konting-konting-konting comment lang ako about the shade range. Meron pa lang 4 or 5 shades itong product na to. And naglilin siya towards dun sa mga medyo light shades. But then again, as a Filipina style at napakaraming tao na moreno, so I really hope na mag-release yung Everbelena ng darker shades ng foundation na to. At 2019 na, bakit? Konti lang yung shades ng foundation nyo. Napakaganda ng product na to. Pwede to sa top shelf ko, but then again, sana i-extend nyo pa yung shade range niya. Of course, yung combination ng EB Advance BB Cream and yung EB Matte 2-Way Cake. Ito, sinabi ko na sa inyo, ito ata yung mga unang makeup na ginamit ko 
ko ever na simula pa noon, dati fingers lang yung ginagamit ko pang blend, but now meron na ako mga beauty sponge, saka meron na ako mga brushes. Pasok na pasok to sa glow bucket natin, Glow Fam. Now yung Everbelena eyeshadow palette na brown and pink, hindi ko masasabi na ito yung pinaka pigmented na eyeshadow palette, pero looking at the eyeshadow look na nagawa ko, I think okay na okay siya for day glam to night glam. Pasok na pasok to. One more thing, sobrang liit niya and pwede nyo siya ilagay sa bag nyo at mag-touch up kayo kung kailan nyo gusto. So, napakaganda nitong mga eyeshadow palette sa to. So, pasok na pasok to sa glow bucket natin. Now, yung EB Advance Eyebrow Kit. Sobra, sobra akong impressed dito sa product na to. I think magagawa talaga nating on fleek yung kilay natin, no questions asked. But my only request kay Everbelena is sana gumawa siya ng smoky shades nitong eyebrow kit na to. Leaning more on the black pigments or yung black tones na kulay. So, pwede siyang gumawa ng black, dark gray, light gray, para mas maging wearable pa siya. Kasi hindi naman lahat ng tao merong brown na kulay na brow. So, I think pag lumabas ka dun sa kalsada sa labas, titingnan mo lahat ng kilay ng tao, lahat mostly black. So, I think tama lang na gumawa kayo ng smoky version nito na merong black, dark gray, and light gray na shades. Pero dahil sa formula niya, tsaka dun sa consistency, and the way it performs, pasok pa rin to dun sa glow bucket natin. Of course, hindi mawawala yung EB Advance Face Trio in the shade Fig Trio. Napakaganda ng contour shade na to. Napakaganda ng blush. Yung highlight, pop na pop talaga. Sobrang blinding. Wala akong masabi. 100% pasok talaga to dun sa glow bucket natin. I highly recommend this product kasi hindi na kayo kailangan pa magdala ng separate or individual palettes ng contour, blush, at highlight. So nasa isang compact na siya and sobrang dali lang niya ilagay dun sa bag. Definitely hindi may E1 sa glow bucket natin ng EB Advance Glow Out Highlighter in the shade Strobe. This has been my all-time favorite. For lips, yung combination itong EB Matte Lip Liner, yung EB Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Toast of New York, and yung EB Advance LTD Liquid Lipstick in the shade Skinny Dip. Perfect na perfect siya. Pasok na pasok to sa glow bucket natin. One more product na hindi ko na-try dito sa video na to na gusto ko rin siya i-mention kasi na-try ko siya dun sa isa sa mga practice sessions ko for my upcoming Halloween creative look is yung EB Advance Vinyl or Vinyl Lip Gloss. Sobrang ganda nitong formula na to. I think bago lang siyang release ng EB Advance. And as much as gusto ko siyang ilagay dito sa lips ko ngayon, I want to keep my lips matte. Bago pa natin makalimutan, of course, papasok din sa ating glow bucket ang EB Advance Eye Define Waterproof Matic Eyeliner. Nagsimula pa lang siya dun sa mga pencil liners ng EB Advance and I think simula pa ng panahon ng dinosaur na usong-uso na talaga yung mga eyeliner pencil ng EB Advance. So ito hindi-hindi ito mawawala dun sa glow bucket natin. And that's it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Today's XXOO shout out goes to Kat. Now Kat is one of my really good friends. Nakasama ko siya sa choir before. And sobra sobra sobrang galing niya talaga kumanta. Wala akong masabi. So Kat, I really hope na makahang out kita soon. Sobrang miss na miss na kita. Please tumambay tayo at mag video kayo ulit tayo. If you wanna be the next XXOO shout out, just follow me on all my social media accounts and leave a comment on this video with the hashtag XXOO shout out. If you're buying any of the products used in this video, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at XXOOvins. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. XXOO Glow Fam. And I'll see you on the next one.